when you first get something this exciting, you're, you're totally confused. You can't believe you found it. And what we've realized is it is stunning. Cancer is basically the body's own cells. These cells start replicating at a very fast rate and they lose their control. They just keep growing. The role of the immune system, especially the dendritic cells, is to identify that these rogue cells exist. Its job is then to go to an immune cell called a T cell that fights cancer and give it the message, T cells, you need to kill the cancer cell. Now what happens is very often the cancer sends out signals to the T cells to stop working and this also affects dendritic cell function. So now you have the two most important immune cells not working to kill cancer. So what we have found is a master switch on dendritic cells and T cells and we are able to reactivate these cells when they've got the stop working signal. And so that's why this is so exciting because these T cells can now go ahead and kill cancer cells. Our antibodies can clear 80% of colon cancers where the cancers do not come back. We're having similar results with triple negative breast cancer. This is a very deadly form of breast cancer. We're talking about palpable tumors that completely disappear and melt away. We are collecting samples from mainly our bowel cancer patients who are on treatment. And Michelle and her team have been able to trial some of her master switch technology on those samples um, and the early suggestions are that that's going to be very successful. In our test tubes we can see the same effect in the blood of cancer patients. That reassures me that we are really going to have an effect. There is this gap which uh, actually scientists call the valley of death or the valley of despair. You've done the basic research, you've got something incredible, but that gap to clinical trials is an expensive space and uh, there isn't any money for that. I have young mums, for example, who have this type of cancer. If I could say to them, look, there's this new treatment that could potentially be a cure for you, that is a, a game changer, really life, life changing for them. They are looking for something, they need something. I think I have something that can help them and yet we can't come together with the treatment because of the funding situation. For us as clinicians, it's really hard to have that conversation where you say, well, there's a limit to what I can do and I can't get rid of this for you. I'm just gonna help you manage it as best we can. Being able to have a better conversation where you're saying, actually, this is a great treatment. We think it'll get rid of your cancer. You know, that's a, a dream for me. It's really exciting and challenging at the same time. For me it's personal because my partner's family have all had breast cancer. We've got great science and if we can just have the money to take that one step further. If we don't have like enough funding, the project might stop. We're doing our best. We really are doing our best. I don't give up. And you know, if you've got one loved one, we think we can make a difference and we'd ask you to help us.